So in the last videos, we were trying to find a filter, HF, which could allow us to remove the lower sidebands, right? So we want to remove the lower sidebands from this modulated signal. We want to remove the parts that are right here so that we transmit just this M minus portion and this M plus portion, which will contain the entire information that was included in the original bandwidth of your message. And in order to realize this filter, what we saw is, okay, we're going to need some kind of ideal phase shifter. We're going to need to be able to take our signal, put it into a system that has this J signum F transfer function, and we're going to need it to pop out some function, some Hilbert transform signal X sub H. And so this is an ideal phase shifter that shifts phase over all frequencies without affecting the magnitude portion of the signal at all. So if we want to do this, if we want to remove those lower sidebands uh, or the upper sidebands, we're going to need to use the Hilbert transform. The Hilbert transform is an ideal phase shifter that has no effect on the magnitude portions, and it has this uh, J minus J signum F definition. Now, recall going back, we said that our original message could be broken into two parts, our M minus and our M plus, and that we could write some equations defining the M minus and M plus using the signum function. So from just from this, hopefully you're starting to put all these pieces together. We want to make this filter. The filter is going to need to be a phase shifter, and it is going to be applied to our original message so that we can deliver ourselves the M minus and M plus portions of our message. So now let's take a look specifically at the mathematics of this. So let's start with the M plus side. So we're going to focus on this M plus side, and we're going to try to figure out uh, the exact mathematics behind how to uh, apply a filter to this M plus so that we can get our desired result. So we have our M plus. We've first wrote it using the step function, which we're all familiar with, and then we rewrote it using the signum function due to the relationship with the convolution, which you can see in the previous videos. Now, you can see that if you write it this way, if we write M plus using the signum function, we can see that this is starting to look like a Hilbert transform. We're starting to see that, okay, if we have our original message and we put it through a Hilbert transform, the Hilbert transform will have this signum function in it, and we can uh, use our original message plus the message that goes through the signum function, and we're going to uh, going that goes through the Hilbert transform, and we'll be able to get just this single part of the sideband. So let's uh, now multiply this. Let's do some mathematical transformations in order to make this look more like the Hilbert transform. We're first going to multiply by j over j. That's the imaginary number. And uh, recall that 1 over j is equal to minus j. And so we can do some more rewriting pull this apart by itself. So we had this j over j, we pulled it out, and now we have a, a situation that's starting to look more like the Hilbert transform. And we have a minus j, one half j, m multiplied by uh, the signum function. Now, if we remove this part, so if we take this part, pull it to the front here, we can see that this is really starting to look like that Hilbert transform that we discussed. So now we have something that looks like the Hilbert transform. So this we can separate out into the message multiplied by minus j signum of f. Okay, so minus uh, the message multiplied by this minus j signum of f, that's the same as the Hilbert transformed message. So this is the same as a message that's undergone a pi half phase shift, right? That's what we said the Hilbert transformer is. It's a phase shifter. So this part of our definition of M plus is the message that's undergone a phase shift. So this is a message. We have two parts of this. The first part is the message that's been uh, halved. And then the second part is J half multiplied by a message that's undergone uh, a phase shift via this Hilbert transformer. So this uh, we have the Hilbert transform message. OK, so M plus can now be defined in terms of both the original message and the message that's undergone a pi half phase shift. So likewise, right, we can rewrite the M minus 
part in the same way. And we'll look at that in the next video.